everyone, it's Samantha from Sammy Sweet Life, and in this video I'm going to talk about Olivia's favorite things lately. I did not do one of these last month. I had other videos already filmed and I really just wanted to hold off a little bit longer to do this video. So this month I ended up having a lot of favorites because it's covering two months worth of favorites for Olivia. And a lot of these ones that I'm talking about are still big time favorites. So uh, it's not like her favorites change drastically from month to month. She's still playing with the same toys. She's still loving her Legos, loving her Princess Castle, the same books from her other favorite months. She still reads the same books over and over again. I think any of the recent favorites videos are a really good representation of things she's still playing with. So with that said, I want to go ahead and walk through her new favorites from the last couple of months. One of the big ones is her Leap Top by Leapfrog. It's just a little um, laptop with alphabets on it. It's kind of dirty because she has snacks and gets it all sticky, um, but it's got a little screen that she gets to watch. It's got four different um, modes on it, and then you press the buttons to get different responses, and she just loves it, especially the music. Um, she'll always turn it over to the music one the most and just press the button and dance. <laughs> she loves it so much. There's also just the ABC mode. So if you press the alphabet buttons, it'll say the alphabet, it'll say the sound it makes, and it'll show an animal. So she really just loves this one. This has been a favorite for a lot of time recently. Going along with the ABC theme, which is a big theme for her, she loves ABCs, we've got this um, Sesame Street alphabet set. So this is more kind of like a puzzle. She does play with it like a puzzle. The letters pop on and off. Some of them are harder to do. And I dropped it. <laughs> Some of them are harder to pop on and off. So each letter has a little picture behind it that's, you know, coordinates. D is for drum. And so we go through this all the time. She'll just come bring this to me because she can't open it herself. And then she'll just sit and play with it. Another one of her favorites lately is this safari truck by Melissa and Doug. And I'm missing the back piece. I couldn't find it when I was trying to grab her stuff really quick and get in here to film. But it's got the little wooden animals and they fit inside um, the little shapes so it's like a little puzzle you put them in there's one shape for the back so you can put a piece in she loves taking the back part on and off and then in the front it's got the cute little safari people that she can slide in and out um, and then it, of course you know plays like a car so she drives it around the floor a lot but it's just been one of her favorites one of the things she loves to do with this one is she loves to stack all the animals up on the top and then knock them over so she does that all the time i think we got that one for her at christmas last year and just recently it's become a big hit for her so i didn't grab all the toys obviously she's playing out there i didn't want to take too many toys away but one of the new things we got when we first moved here was a pink um was a Lego plate. Um, it's got all the little places you can put the Legos on and it's pretty big and it's pink and she just loves being able to stack more of the Legos on there and build things on the plate. So that one is a really good purchase. It is an off-brand one, but it works great with the Lego Duplos. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below, but that one especially was a great purchase. So cheap compared to the Lego brand ones and it worked just fine. Another one of her favorites lately is the alphabet train. I know I showed it at her Christmas haul last year because her grandparents got it for her for Christmas. It is just an alphabet train. It comes with blocks that you stick in the alphabet and it'll say what the block is. And she's now to the where she can easily get them in and out of the little part that talks. So she does that all day long. She runs around with the train part of it. She'll sit on the little seat part and scoot around on it. It's just tons of fun. She loves that thing so much. And it's probably one of the best purchases we've made because when she was sitting, she could sit and play with it. And now she just runs around with it and she can do the block part herself. And then another one of her new favorites is wood blocks. We just got this set of wood alphabet blocks. And I pretty much got one of the cheapest ones on Amazon. I think it was like 12 or 15 bucks. One of the reasons I got this set was it came with a container. It's got a little plastic container and so she loves putting them in and out of the container. And I like it because it's instant storage for the blocks. So as far as crafty type of things that she likes lately, she is obsessed with stickers. She can peel the stickers off the sheets all by herself now. She's just obsessed with them. She always asks for the stickers. Another crafty favorite she hasn't been playing with as much because it's super messy 
is the Play-Doh. She just loves it. We got the retro tool set. So it's like the tools that I grew up using, the little extractor. And it has some of the same cookie cutters that I remember, a little butterfly and a little horse that looks kind of like a dog. I just love it. I got it at Target and I'm pretty sure that this retro set is a Target exclusive. We also got one of the My Little Pony sets. You can make the little ponies and she really likes that one too. The last crafty thing I want to talk about is Color Wonder markers. Those are the greatest invention ever because of course at her age the marker goes straight in the mouth or straight on her hands and of course it's non-toxic but they don't stain because they're clear. They only show up on the paper, which is so great. I ended up getting a bunch of Color Wonder stuff months and months back, way before we moved at Target for 50% off through their Cartwheel app. I noticed they've done a couple of those kind of sales since then through the Cartwheel. So definitely watch your Cartwheel app if you're a Target frequenter because you get some really good deals on some Crayola stuff. Moving on to books, we've got a bunch of new favorite books. It seems like every time I rotate out books, she gets more and more books that she loves that we read over and over again. And then we have more books out because I can't pull the ones she loves to read and put them back in the bookshelf because she just loves them. I love that she loves reading. And so these are books that we've had out for a while and she still keeps coming back to. This one called My Bus. I think we got this one at Christmas time or her birthday. It's just a really basic story and it counts the animals and she really likes it because it's cats and dogs. We read that one all the time. Another one that she really likes lately is Daddy Hugs. And this one's a counting book, but each page says something different. So let me flip to one like two teeny tiny finger hugs so each thing's a different kind of hug and a lot of them she interacts with me one of one of them says yay you did it for step hugs and so she'll clap and get excited for that one and then we've got two of these that's not my books we've got that that's not my puppy and we've got that that's not my bunny and each page has a different thing on it like the front it says that's not my puppy its coat is too hairy each one of the puppies is a little different until you get to the puppy that is yours. Each page has some sort of interactive element, which is really fun. She loves those and she'll just flip through those all by herself. Another one that's probably been a favorite before, it's still a favorite, is doggies. You just count the doggies and they each make a different sound. You can see. Each doggie makes a different sound. So now she's doing the sound for two of the different doggies, which I think is really cute. And then this is one I got as a hand-me-down from my cousin, my big animal book. And we point to all the animals and say the animals. If they make a sound, we say the sound. It's just a really fun one just to flip through over and over again. And then this last one is one I just bought. It's called Where is Baby's Pumpkin? And each page has some sort of um, flip, lift the flap element. And she loves it. She's just obsessed with it. And then when we find the pumpkin on the last page, she smiles real big and then wants to read it again. Absolutely a great purchase. And I got this one used on Amazon. I know there are a lot of people who want brand new things. They don't even consider used stuff, but you can save a lot of money if you get the used books on Amazon. Usually the ones that I found are at least a few bucks cheaper than the other book. And what it'll, what it'll be is the book will be like a cent and then the shipping will be $3.99. So you're paying four bucks for a book, which I think is great. Uh, this book retails for $7.99 and of course you know usually on Amazon they're not their retail price but I got this eight dollar book for four bucks. Sometimes you can tell that it's a used book because you know the edges are a little bit scuffed up and it looks a tiny bit worn but most of the time they look brand new so if I can get it cheaper through the used book program on Amazon I do because it's just so much cheaper that way. As Olivia has gotten older she has liked more foods, she's tried more foods. And so I think I'm gonna start incorporating like a food section of this video. So food favorites for Olivia, mostly their snack favorites, um, but one of the favorites that's not so good for her, but it's a high calorie food, it's got some fats in it, it's filling. Um, I've been giving her 
some cereal bars from Trader Joe's. So this one's the apple, but she's also tried the pumpkin and the strawberry and the fig, and she's loved all of them. She just like will hoover these cereal bars when she gets the chance. So um, I limit her on these ones big time because they are so much sugar. After this, I'm gonna film my favorites video, and I love the fig one, so it'll be in my favorites video. And speaking of things that'll be in my favorites video, we both have just gone gaga over the roasted seaweed from Trader Joe's. These little packs are 99 cents and we, we sometimes share them, sometimes she eats the whole thing and I have one of my own later, but it's just so good. It does have that, um, what is it, umami, um, the savoriness to it. I really like it. The ingredients are really simple. It's got good nutrients in it. So this one's just been a big hit for us. This next time we go to Trader Joe's, I am just gonna get a big box of it because they said when I was checking out, I had like 20 of these. They said they sell them by the box full because a lot of people are the same way. They just get addicted to it, love it. It's just such a nice, light, easy snack for me. Um, and it does have a little bit of a crunch to it because it is toasted. I just love it. It's one of my favorite things, and it's one of Olivia's favorite things too. She just hoovers them. Anyway, I've seen the same kind of thing. I've not tried it or anything because I've gotten the Trader Joe's ones, but I've seen the same kind of things at Target in the little packs like this, um, and they're in the Asian slash international aisle. So it's somewhere I didn't expect them to be. I was just walking through that aisle to pick up, I think, rice, but um, it's definitely not in a place that I expected it to be. It's not around the snack foods. So just keep that in mind. If anybody has tried the Target ones, let me know in the comment section and let me know if they're any good because that'd be another place we could pick up the toasted seaweed. This is the last snack I actually have um, to show you guys. It is the freeze-dried mango from Trader Joe's. We've been getting a bunch of freeze-dried stuff from Target for the longest time, but I've noticed these at Trader Joe's. They're 50 cents cheaper than the Target ones. And I think the weight is a little bit more. This is 1.7 ounces. I don't have a couple of the foods with me because they're just kind of random foods that she's really liked this month that I wouldn't expect possibly a toddler to like. One is olives. She absolutely loves black olives. She gets really excited when I pull them out of the fridge. She just loves them. So we go through cans and cans of olives now because she has them at least like once a day. They're just one of her big favorites. And then the other favorite that she's had is kind of weird. It's hash browns. She just really loves them. All I do is cube up some potatoes and saute them with olive oil with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. They're so easy to make. So that is it for this video. I talked about all of Olivia's favorites that she's been enjoying lately. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will link to everything in the description box below. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe. I put out videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for watching. Bye. The ingredients are really simple. It's got good nutrients in it because seaweed's good for you. Oh, yeah, I like that food a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is she right there with you? I see you. <laughs> you can let her in. You know what? I was just going to talk about your mango snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I got them right here. Mango! No, I don't want you up here because I've got stuff that's not for you up here. But you know what? I do have a lot of things that you can have. Oh, wow. He's out there. And I got your safari truck. I was just talking about all these things that you really like. Mm -hmm. And your laptop. Here, Daddy, can you take this one out there? Daddy will take out your cool toys. You can add the last one. Oh wow, the zebra's gonna chase her. There you go. Thanks, Daddy. Bye, baby. I'll see you in a few minutes.